what does a German Catholic industrialist has to do in the middle of a Catholic Mount Zion Jerusalem cemetery? Hi, I'm Davy, and this is an Israeli moment. So I'm in the Catholic cemetery in Mount Zion in Jerusalem, and I want to talk about the person. What what does a Catholic German born has to do in this uh, cemetery in uh, one of I guess like a holy mountain in Jerusalem? And we are talking about Oskar Schindler. So who was Oskar Schindler that's buried here, right? So Oskar Schindler was a German born at the beginning of the 20th century, 1908. And he became famous for his, um, for his actions during World War II, during the Nazi regime of Europe. So uh, 19, the, begin, the beginning of the 1940s, Germany is basically conquering the whole of Europe, right? So we're talking about Poland, we're talking about France, we're talking about Italy, everywhere. The Germans are everywhere in Europe. And as you know, war is, is a terrible thing, but war can also bring up opportunities. And uh, Oskar Schindler, he saw one. He saw, he saw business opportunities for himself and he went for them. So when the Nazis came to Poland, they decided to basically use the Poles and the Jews as, um, as basically as human slaves. So they took many, many people, mostly Jews, but not just Jews, to concentration camps. And some of these camps were labor camps. So a labor camp is uh, basically like a big, big, big prison with horrible conditions from which forced labor is taken to work in outside factories, let's say ammunition factories for the German war machine. And someone needs to erect these factories, someone needs to run them, to manage them. And Oskar Schindler was a guy like this. He was a businessman, he was an industrialist. And when the Germans said, hey, come to Poland, erect wartime industry for us, for the German war machine, for the German homeland, and make big bucks, because you know, the labor is free, right? These are slaves. This is forced labor. So Oskar Schindler went for it. He was all in, okay? He erected factories that, that basically used slaves, okay? Used forced labor. Um, and he went for it. And this, is, this was at the beginning, at the earlier part of the war, World War II. But as the war progressed, Oskar Schindler kind of... There was a, rec a moment of reckoning for Oskar Schindler, as I, as I think, and he started changing his ways, and, and that's actually what made Oskar Schindler famous. Not the fact that he was another um, industrialist that used this horrible, horrible moment in history uh, to make another buck. No, not, that's not what made him famous. What made Oskar Schindler famous is the shift, is the big change, let's say the perhaps the repentance and how he changed his way. So Oskar Schindler became involved in this massive, massive effort to save Jewish lives, actually, as the war progressed. So, and, and, and that's what, by the way, we're seeing here. As, I don't know if, if you know this, but um, you can see all these stones around here, right? There are many stones laid on the grave. This is actually a Jewish practice that when we come to a cemetery, we put stones on the grave. Now, I'll film the stones next to it they don't have, like the gravestones don't have small stones on top of them, right? Why is that? That's because they are not visited by Jews, okay? This is very interesting. This is a grave of a Catholic inside the Catholic cemetery, and it is evident the Jews, Jews are visiting this grave, and they are laying stones on his grave, okay, on this guy's grave. And, and, and trust me, the stones are being cleaned from here every time and then because they are piling up, okay? It's not just like the 60, 70 stones here. People kind of stream to this place and put stones, Jews, I'm talking about Jews. And this is what's interesting about this character, about Oskar Schindler, is that on the one hand, he was basically a savage, right? I mean, he used forced labor, forced labor of many of Jews in horrific, horrific conditions for his own gratification, for his own wealth, right? business move, harsh business move, um, with, with horrible uh, moral consequences on the one hand. But on the other hand, he, he may be looked at as like a sinner which re who repented, right? So um, this is Oskar Schindler. I'm David and uh, this has been an Israeli moment.